very strong sources says that the Edo state government is refusing to grant venues for Peter Obi and the Labour Party to hold their rally, you know, the campaign, President, President campaign rally in Edo state. Yes, my people are see the hot, it don't happen, no. Information reaching me now, they say the governor of Edo state, God will not they say this man don't deny Peter Obi venues to do his campaign. Oh, man, not talk too much, my president family. Please make me share this video, make me expose them. If you not share this video, there's no difference between you and the governor of those to win the Napita B venue. Please share this video and please, our uh, Baseki, again, which I won't tell you because when you decamp from APC, go PDP. Now we help you fight that battle just like the way we the help Peter will be the fight the battle now because now we vote for you. Say we don't tire for APC. Say we will vote for personality. Now you take come off for APC, go PDP. And those who will not vote for PDP will vote for you. Now you don't see person when they send shoe with you now. You don't the Naira campaign grant for them to take air your opinion, give you masses, say something you get to offer them. This thing is not fair, if not truth. And if not truth, man, not talk too much. My business family, please just share this video. Look and watch the video. Until Peter the Rock gets to us so rock, we are never going to be tired. Uh, but I'm inclined to come out this evening to, um, because of some information that, you know, this information has been cooking for quite a while. Uh, but tonight, I just really could not stomach it that much. And I thought that, you no, know, we start talking about these things. If you have to share this program, it's very important because uh, if the information I'm going to be giving right now is, is true. What I want to talk about here, um, because I just cannot stomach market it, and many of you may not be aware, Peter Gregory will be, you know, will be coming to a do state this Friday, uh, the 11th of November, for the presidential campaign rally. Uh, if you recall, just, uh, you know, about three weeks ago or less, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the PDP had their own rally, you know, at the Ogbe Stadium, I mean, the, the Samuel Stadium, you know, in, in Benin. Um, I mean, it's 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 always been the norm that you know president you know uh, uh, candidates travel around the country hold you know campaigns talk to the electorates and all of that. But what we are beginning to see with the Peter Abbey campaign is like there is um, uh, what's it called uh, an arrangement you know by the by the establishment you know to um, strangulate you know the Peter Abbey campaign. Now, the information reaching me this evening from very strong sources says that the Edo state government is refusing to grant venues for Peter Obi and the Labour Party to hold their rally, you know, the campaign, President, President campaign rally in Edo state. And, and I find this very, very disturbing. I, I mean, we've, we've had, you know, information like this, you know, happen around some other states, a couple of other states like that. But uh, this is happening in Edo state. You know, if it is true, and that is why I said it's, it's, it's been alleged by uh, people are called uh, chieftains of the Labour Party uh, that the Edo State government um, they, they applied for the stadium to use the stadium, they were denied. Um, they applied to use uh, um, the, uh, uh, the, the University of Benin, uh, you know, a complex. Uh, they were denied. They applied to use Garrick Memorial Hall around at Long Ekenwa Road. I mean, ground along Ekenwa Road, a very big ground as well. They were denied. Um, they then settled to try to want to use the museum ground. And this evening, again, uh, is being reported that that is meeting with a very strong obstacle uh, of denial. I don't understand why this should be. Um, I mean, and there's no way we are going to mention Edo State government we are without calling out the governor of Edo State. Uh, you know? Uh, but because it's an allegation uh, right there, you know? So we, we I'm going to try to, you know, um, pick my words very carefully. Um, but, but, and as I said earlier, that if this is true, it is honestly very disappointing please everybody should you know let's share this broadcast it's important because if this is true okay uh it therefore means that this election you know has no semblance of being free and fair 
because every candidate must have equal opportunity, you know, to sell themselves, sell their manifesto to the people of, of, of Nigeria. And so if certain people are allowed the freedom to use, you know, the available spaces, you know, to sell themselves and, of course, talk to their followers and, you know, and, and electorate and all of that, and some others are being strangulated like this, then there's a, there's a huge problem. You know, we, we, we cannot afford to wait till the day of election to begin to quantify, to begin to measure, or begin to assess how free and fair the election has been. If, if it is true that the Labour Party is facing these obstacles, there is no reason under the earth, if this is democracy, why the Edo state government will deny Labour or any other political party adapt the use of Edo state stadium. If it is true, and I'm, 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 I'm premising this broadcast on if it is true, and I'm making this broadcast because I have, you know, different sources I've spoken to this night, you know, they have verified this information that they are not being allowed to use the stadium at those states' public stadium. They are not being allowed to use Gary Memori Memorial Ground. They are not being allowed to use these this facilities that are supposed to be under the control of government to the extent that even so one, one of the sources even lamented that even Unibank complex they are not being allowed. They are denied. All the applications are being denied. I, I don't think this is healthy. I don't think this is this is this is this this is a very strong one of those very strong indices of of you know election not being free and fair because there is no reason why Atiku or PDP we stroll into Edo states and have the Ogbe Stadium to use to campaign. And Peter will be of the Labour Party. We don't have the same access and privilege to use the 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 the, the, the some Bermuda Stadium. These facilities belong to a those state people. And so there is no reason under under the sun. If if a, a date chosen by by Labour Party is a day that the government you know finds not very you know convenient maybe it's clashing with another program and all of that i think that what ought to be and i i i, I threw that out when i was doing my findings what ought to be is for the state government to say okay these 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 and these dates are free so these people can actually you know adjust if they actually you know if they, if they are desperate to use the, the stadium but to say that the information coming out to say that they are not being allowed to use the stadium they are not being allowed to use the Garrick Memorial Ground. They are not being allowed to use the, the what's it called, the uh, 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 Ubo Complex Ground, that the Unibank Complex Ground. And even when they have said to, to now say, okay, they want to use the museum ground, and that is not being met with denial, honestly, that is huge travesty of justice. That is, I don't know how to qualify that if, 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 if this is true. Mind you, I'm still saying that if this is true, then we are worried. We are going to be very worried, very much worried. Not because these efforts or these political shenanigans will reduce the capacity and the strength of support that Peter B will get. It is that in this day and age, this kind of you know callousness displayed by people that we have entrusted you know, power in their hands to manage our own facilities, manage our own resources, to not be the ones who are becoming, you know, gods, to deny us. Because at, at the end of the day, by extension, Peter B and Labour Party are not the ones actually being denied access to a those state facilities, if it is true. The people being denied are a those state people. And people who are supposed to have freedom of choices, People are supposed to have freedom of, of, of expressions to choose who they want to support. And if, if the government is not seeing it like that, then there's a very huge problem that some of us cannot afford to be quiet about. I, I, and I mean, this, this rally is going to be on Friday. You know, I, and I, I, I'm coming out to say this because I honestly hope that the government and those, you know, in charge of all of these, 
you know, bureaucratic, whatever it is, should, you know, look at the people of Edo State and, of course, quickly turn around and do what do the needful. Okay, my people, also don't watch the video, also don't share it. Now, the venue for the campaign, all of us will go to meet for King Square. They will come take off from King Square. We can go Batiste Conventional Grand for TV Road. Now, tomorrow, the afternoon is on Friday, 11th of November. In fact, we will be there before 10 o'clock. We will be for president. Please share this video. Make this information reach all the obedience so that everybody will come outside tomorrow for Peter Obi. And those states is truly obedient.